If you have seen my latest videos, you know I have been searching for a while now to solve this problem with ChatGPT. I have 12 liter jug and 6 liter jug and I want to measure 6 liters. How do I do it? Just use the 6 liter jug, right? GPT-4 spits out some very elaborate nonsense. <laughs> Step 1, fill the 6 liter jug. Step 2, pour the water from 6 to 12 liter jug. Step 3, fill the 6 liter jug again. Step four, very carefully pour the water from six to 12 liter jug. And finally, you have six liters of water in the six liter jug that should be empty by now. And after a lot of research and testing, I think I finally found a prompt sequence that solves that and all kinds of similar problems. So let's take it for a test. First, I just wanna show you what kind of issues I have been running into when I try to run this problem in GPT-4. So I have a 12 liter jug and a six liter jug. I want to measure six liters, how do I do it? So you can see here, I always get this stupid answer. To measure actually six liters, use a 12 liter jug and a six liter jug, follow these steps. Fill it to the top, pour six liters from the six liter jug into the 12 liter jug. Now you have six liters in the 12 liter jug. That is correct, of course, but there is one easier step that all humans know, right? And that is basically fill up the six liter jug and you have six liters. So that is what I've been struggling to get GPT-4 to do. The first step is to give ChatGPT a system role and a persona. So we basically wanna call it, you are a problem solving assistant and logical thinker. Your primary objective is to guide and support users by tackling various challenges and breaking down complex problems into smaller manageable components. And we get a whole bunch of things here and acknowledge this with yes and stay idle and wait for more info. Then we're gonna follow up with my problem and here I'm gonna list the classic jug problem. List the most logical real world answers based on human reasoning to the problem, ranging from the simplest to more complex. Let's think about it in a step by step way. And now you can see we end up with three different strategies. So the simplest solution is basically fill the six liter jug to the top. You have exactly six liters. Perfect, that is the answer of course. But still, it's gonna give us a few more other strategies that are kind of stupid, so I wanna uh, elaborate more. So then the next step is gonna be good. Now evaluate each solution using the defined criteria and assign score or rank based on the chance to give the correct answer to the problem. And here I'm just gonna set my criteria. I was, was the most logical answer in a real world. Time and reasoning, that is my criteria. So here you can see we get this beautiful score here. So we get strategy one, evaluation and scoring. So on logic, this scores a 10 out of 10. This is the most straightforward solution. Time, it requires a single action, great. So the strategy two gets eight out of 10 and on time seven out of 10, strategy three gets only five and five out of 10. So clearly strategy one is the best and that is what we want to see, right? Since I want to follow through with the prompt sequence, I'm just going to sort the solution in the order of ranks. If we have many solutions, this helps us keep it uh, more organized, right? So you can see here why we have rank number one, strategy one, two, three, right? And the next step that is quite the important one. So re-evaluate the solutions to find out if they are answers to the initial problem. Sometimes GPT-4 comes up with these uh, strategies or solutions that don't really are answers. That's why I want to include this. I'm gonna do this on a few other problems that this might be applicable. So if you find any answers that are not applicable, remove them. Let's think about it in a step-by-step -step way. Yes, you can see this is perfect. So you can see in the strategy one, uh, applicability, yes. Strategy two, applicability, yes. But here on strategy three, you can see, while this strategy technically provides a way to measure six liters, it does not, does not directly address the problem because it's operate under additional constraints that is not pre pre present in the problem statement. So here is applicability, no. So we are actually gonna remove strategy three here. So that is very good. So this is, if you have many different solutions, this really can sort out what you need to solve the initial problem. Then we're gonna finish this off with good. Now present only the best solution. And I want you to answer the initial problem, include the rank along with the reasoning behind the rankings. So we want this kind of format, solution, rank, reasoning, time, and other. So let's just spin that. And here we got it. So you can see a solution, fill the six liter jug to the top. You have six liters. Rank one, we have, this is the most straightforward and logical solution. Time, minimal. 
other dissolution allowance best with the problem statement taking into account the defined criteria. So finally I found a prompt sequence that can replicate this uh, in a good way and over time. So after a lot of research I finally found something that works. I don't know quite what triggered that I found it out. Uh, but at least I'm very happy with this. If you want to test out this prompt on your problems, just follow the link in the description and in the pinned comment and you will come to my website here where I have put up the whole prompt sequence. Also, don't forget to check out the video you can see on the screen here. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you again in the next one.